In this video, I'm gonna talk about IP source guard. So, in the past videos, I talk about uh, DHCP snooping and die or dynamic ARP inspection. Uh, and IP source guard is one of those features that uh, prevent any spoofing attacks. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> one of the uh, spoofing attacks that an attacker can can do on a network. So, what what is IP source guard? So, as the name suggests, it basically guard the the source IP, or it basically checks the the source IP or the MAC address of a host that is sending traffic uh, to a switch. So it is, uh, like I said, it is a switch feature uh, that uh, basically checks incoming. Uh, traffic so it checks the checks the IP source I mean the source IP or source MAC address uh, but but uh, let's talk about how a uh, spoofing can be done on a network uh, and this in this picture uh, this is just uh, within a single VLAN, so in this case VLAN, VLAN 100 and the netlock is 192.168.1.0-24 so this is, we have a authorized client uh, dot one and a server dot two and they are connected to uh, a switch or this could be a layer 3 switch doesn't really matter, uh, but you know <clears throat> they are all uh, they are on the same uh, VLAN, and we have another host here. Uh, this could this would be the uh, attacker uh, computer. So a, a an attacker can <clears throat> uh, can make up an IP address. Uh, within that uh, subnet and just try to you know get on the network but uh, so how can we how can we prevent that uh, spoofed uh, address from going through the network and you know uh, accessing or Uh, uh, gleaning any information on the network. So, in that case, we can use uh, a, a Cisco Catalyst uh, Cisco Catalyst switch feature called IP Source Guard. So, it's very easy to configure, um, but we just need to make sure that. Uh, uh, DHCP snooping is enabled and configured on the switch because uh, IP source guard uh, will check the the IP the source IP or the MAC the source MAC address based on the uh, DHCP snooping binding database. So let's say we have a uh, this uh, this interface here. Uh, this should be connected to a host, uh, so we can configure IP source guard by do by doing IP verify source, and this here, uh, this is gonna check the the switch is gonna check the source IP address uh, coming from a from any host uh, in the on the same network. 
But if we need to also check the MAC address, we can add port security. And like I said, uh, this is the switch is gonna refer to its DHCP snooping binding. Uh, I mean, the switch is going to do this by uh, checking its DHCP snooping binding database. Uh, uh, what if a host is not <coughs> using a DHCP uh, service? Uh, you can actually uh, configure the switch uh, to bind the to bind the MAC address and the, the IP address and the VLAN ID and the interface, as you can see here. Uh, IP source binding, MAC address, VLAN, VLAN ID, IP address, and interface name. So this is uh, basically, <clears throat> you're doing it manually on the switch. Uh, instead of doing, uh, doing this automatically, the DHCP snooping binding database. Yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. <clears throat> uh, and if you need to verify <clears throat> the this the IP source guard stats status, uh, you can do show IP verify source and the interface name. And if you want to also verify the IP source binding database, uh, you can do you can do this. Uh, show IP source binding uh, IP address, either IP address or MAC address, and either DHCP snooping or static, and of course the interface name and the VLAN ID. So, yeah. So, I think it's uh, important to, to, to say that, I mean to emphasize that uh, before you actually uh, configure IP source guard, you need to, like I said earlier, you need to enable and configure DHCP snooping uh, first uh, because uh, this the switch is gonna refer to that database before it can, you know, uh, do any uh, checking on the uh, source IP or uh, source MAC address. Yep, uh, that's it for. That's all I can say about IP source guard. So, <clears throat> thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.